in the apostle. Whatever you need, God's got it. There are, without a doubt, necessities in this life. Now, we want to pretend sometimes that we don't have necessities. The problem comes when we can't distinguish necessities from wants. You need oxygen to breathe. That is a necessity. You might want a new Bugatti. Or Rolls Royce or a new Lexus. But you don't need a new Lexus. We need to understand that God is interested in the necessities first. And then the lanyard at the ladder because he wants his will to be done first. There are things that are needed in this life in order for us to be sustained and to walk in this world until he calls us home or he comes back. But the problem is that we are so busy trying to run after the things that we want that we forget that God wants us to get the things that we need. See, I, I said earlier that, that, that all the things that both the mayors could have asked Jesus for, he could have asked for a new home, and he could have asked for a chariot with horses, he could have asked for a team of oxen, he could have asked for more money, but he said, I want you to have mercy on me because he understood he needed mercy. Yeah, we need to understand that, that, that God is interested in what we need because in this world, what we want sometimes is not good enough for us or is not good to us. Because some things we want, we just want to use them for our own pleasure and for our own good that God don't get any glory out of it. Well, in this passage of scripture, you will find out that at this point, God had delivered the children of Israel from the bondage of slavery and had crossed them over or put them into a place called wilderness. And in that wilderness, God said that he would do several things. He wanted them first to learn how to worship him. And secondly, he wanted to prove them that they would be able to dispense how good God is. You need to understand that in your life, in order for God to sustain you and meet your needs, first of all, he may put you in a place that is uncomfortable for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today's Christian want to be comfortable all of the time. Oh, y'all know we want we, we 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 buy the best sofa that we can be comfortable. We buy the biggest TV that we can watch our games and be comfortable. We we make sure that the air conditioning is working all the time. And y'all know how y'all act up last year around September when I just came through and, and the electricity didn't come on fast enough. We started complaining that it was too hot. We want to be comfortable. But yet, you have to realize, in order to serve God sometimes, He has to place you somewhere where you're not comfortable. Why? 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 Because when you get comfortable, you become apathetic. When, watch me, Pastor, I'm going at home. When true vine after the storm just had chairs, the, the chairs were filled. Now, Pastor got you some nice cushion pews. And it look like they don't want to come. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Now, now, now I'm, I'm going to talk about because when we were just worshiping here 
preaching comfort in the wilderness. You need, you need, come, you need water, you need food, and you need shelter. And, 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 and when they were in the wilderness, the Bible said very clearly that at night there was a pillar of fire, and during the day there was a pillar of cloud to guide them. But yet, that when you when you see these things in front of you, some people can't recognize the hand of God. I'm gonna leave it right there. You can see, I, I, I understand that three people understand it. You can see that you got a good shepherd. Some people can see that he stands before you and leaves you. He can see that he's there day and night. But yet some people won't recognize the hand of God and still will complain. Let's see where I'm going. Yeah, yeah, because when we get to the scripture, if you read it very carefully, the Bible said that the people murmured against Moses because they complained that God had brought them out into the wilderness to die. That there was not enough grave in Israel. You read it. It said we had onions, we had leeks, we had all this in Egypt, and now we in the desert land, and God has brought us out here to die. Well, has to try to free people from sin uh -huh. to live in holiness. Uh -huh. But I learned that some people don't know how to live free. Uh -huh. They'd rather be in bondage. Uh -huh. You wonder why some of our young men keep going back to jail? Uh -huh. It's hard to live free. Yeah. It's easier to follow orders and be shackled out. Came up. 